There is medium internet censorship in France, including limited filtering of child pornography, laws against websites that promote terrorism or racial hatred, and attempts to protect copyright. The Freedom on the Net report by Freedom House has consistently listed France as a country with internet freedom. Its global ranking was 6 in 2013 and 12 in 2017. A sharp decline in its score, second only to Libya was noted in 2015 and attributed to problematic policies adopted in the aftermath of the Charlie Hebdo terrorist attack, such as restrictions on content that could be seen as apology for terrorism, prosecutions of users, and significantly increased surveillance. Topic. Overview France continues to promote freedom of the press and speech online by allowing unfiltered access to most content, apart from limited filtering of child pornography and websites that promote terrorism, or racial violence and hatred. The French government has undertaken numerous measures to protect the rights of Internet users, including the passage of the LOI pour la confiance dans l'économie numérique LCEN, law for trust in the digital economy in 2004. However, the passage of a new copyright law threatening to ban users from the Internet upon their third violation has drawn much criticism from privacy advocates as well as the European Union EU Parliament. In November 2010, France was classified by the OpenNet initiative as showing no evidence of Internet filtering in any of the four areas monitored political, social, conflict, security, and Internet tools. However, with the implementation of the three strikes, legislation and a law providing for the administrative filtering of the web and the defense of a civilized internet 2010 was a difficult year for internet freedom in france the offices of several online media firms and their journalists were targeted for break-ins and court summons and pressured to identify their sources as a result france has been added to reporters without borders list of countries under surveillance as of 2013, controversial clauses within the HADOPI, LOPPSI2, and LCEN laws were provoking the ire of Internet advocates in the country, mainly over fears of disproportionate punishments for copyright violators, overreaching administrative censorship, and threats to privacy. However, Freedom House ranks France amongst the top six countries for Internet freedom. Topic. Likra versus Yahoo In 2000, French courts demanded Yahoo block Nazi material in the case Likra versus Yahoo. In 2001, a U.S. district court judge held that Yahoo cannot be forced to comply with French laws against the expression of pro Nazi and anti Semitic views, because doing so would violate its right to free expression under the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. In 2006, a U.S. Court of Appeals reversed the district court, finding either a lack of jurisdiction or an inability to enforce its order in France and the U.S. Supreme Court refused to consider an appeal. Hadopi laws The Hadopi Law, enacted in 2009, allows disconnecting from the Internet users that have been caught illegally downloading copyrighted content, or failing to secure their system against such illegal downloads. As of August 2009, this law is to be supplemented by a Hadopi II law. The LOPPSI II law, brought before Parliament in 2009, will authorize a blacklist of sites providing child pornography, established by the Ministry of the Interior, which Internet service providers will have to block. The LOPC, Bill on Direction and Planning for the Performance of Domestic Security, is a far-reaching security bill that seeks to modernize Internet laws, criminalizing online identity theft, allowing police to tap Internet connections as well as phone lines during investigations and targeting child pornography by ordering ISPs to filter Internet connections. In 2010, French Parliament opposed all the amendments seeking to minimize the use of filtering Internet sites. 
This move has stirred controversy throughout French society, as the internet filtering intended to catch child pornographers could also be extended to censor other material. Critics also warn that filtering URLs will have no effect, as distributors of child pornography and other materials are already using encrypted peer to peer systems to deliver their wares. In 2011, the Constitutional Council of France validated Article 4 of the LOPPSI2 law, thereby allowing filtering the internet without any justice decision. The filtered site's blacklist being under the control of an administrative authority depending directly from the Ministry of the Interior without any independent monitoring. On 21 April 2011, the Hadopi announced they planned integrating a spyware called Securization Software in the French Internet service providers provided modem routers with the explicit goal of tracking any communication including private correspondence and instant messengers exchanges. Topic. June 2011, Draft Executive Order Implementing the Law for Trust in the Digital Economy A June 2011 draft executive order implementing Article 18 of the Law for Trust in the Digital Economy LCEN, would give several French government ministries the power to restrict online content. In case of violation, or where there is a serious risk of violation, of the maintenance of public order, the protection of minors, the protection of public health, the preservation of interests of the national defense, or the protection of physical persons. According to Felix Traeger, a policy and legal analyst for the digital rights advocacy group La Quadrature du Net, this is a censorship power over the Internet that is probably unrivaled in the democratic world. In response to criticism, on 23 June 2011 the Minister for the Industry and the Digital Economy, Eric Besson, announced that the government would rewrite the order, possibly calling for a judge to review the legality of the content and the proportionality of the measures to be taken. Any executive order has to be approved by the French Council of State, which will have to decide whether Internet censorship authorization can be extended to such an extent by a mere executive order. In 2013, the Parliament eventually repelled the legislative provision on which the decree was based. Topic. October 2011, COP watching site blocked. On 14 October 2011 a French court ordered French Internet service providers to block the Copwatch Nord Paris IDF website. The website shows pictures and videos of police officers arresting suspects, taunting protesters and allegedly committing acts of violence against members of ethnic minorities. The police said they were particularly concerned about portions of the site showing identifiable photos of police officers, along with personal data, that could lead to violence against the local authorities. However, free speech advocates reacted with alarm. This court order illustrates an obvious will by the French government to control and censor citizens' new online public sphere," said Jérémy Zimmerman, spokesman for La Quadrature du Net, a Paris-based organization that campaigns against restrictions on the Internet. <laughs> Topic. Twitter case Following the posting of an anti-Semitic and racist's posts by anonymous users, Twitter removed those posts from its service. Lawsuits were filed by the Union of Jewish Students UEJF, a French advocacy group and, on 24 January 2013, Judge Anne-Marie Sauteraud ordered Twitter to divulge the personally identifiable information about the user who posted the anti-Semitic post, charging that the posts violated French laws against hate speech. Twitter responded by saying that it was reviewing its options regarding the French charges. Twitter was given two weeks to comply with the court order before daily fines of €1,000 about $1,300 would be assessed. Issues over jurisdiction arise, because Twitter has no offices nor employees within France, so it is unclear how a French court could sanction Twitter. Topic. Pierre Sir Oat article deletion 
The French intelligence agency DCRI contacted the Wikimedia Foundation, who refused to remove a French Wikipedia article about the military radio station of Pierre sur Haute because the article only contained publicly available information, in accordance with Wikipedia's verifiability policy. In April 2013 DCRI forced the deletion of the article when it summoned a volunteer with administrators access to the French language Wikipedia and ordered him to take down the article that had been online since 2009. DCRI claimed the article contained classified military information and broke French law. The volunteer, who had no connection with the article, explained, That's not how Wikipedia works and told them he had no right to interfere with editorial content, but was told he would be held in custody and charged if he failed to comply. The article was subsequently restored by a Swiss Wikipedia contributor. The article became the most viewed page on the French Wikipedia as of April 6, 2013. Christophe Henner, vice president of Wikimedia France, said, If the DCRI comes up with the necessary legal papers we will take down the page. We have absolutely no problem with that and have made it a point of honor to respect legal injunctions, it's the method the DCRI used that is shocking." The Wikimedia Foundation issued a communique in response. Topic. Blocking of 16 streaming websites in November 2013 On 28 November 2013, the Civil Court of First Instance of Paris ordered French Internet service providers to block 16 video streaming websites for copyright infringement, dpstream.tv, fifostream.tv, allostreaming.com, alloshowtv.com, alamovies.com, alashare.com, alamegavideo.com, alaseven.com, alorals.com, fifostream.com, fifostream.net, fifostream.org, fifostreaming.com, fifostreaming.net, fifostreaming.org and fifostreaming. TV Topic. Blocking of 10 websites in March 2015 On March 16, the Interior Ministry announced that French ISPs would have to censor the five pro-jihadist websites aliatmedia.wordpress.com, jihadman.com, mujahida89.wordpress.com, isolamanation.blogspot.fr and islamic-news.info in addition to five pedophile websites in the next 24 hours. Topic. See also. Censorship in France Internet censorship <laughs>